It's all fun and games until somebody gets cut off. Then it's just fun for the bartender. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Bar School. I'm Bo Robinson. After doing about 20 of these episodes, I've come to realize that the root of all cocktails goes back to the age of modern colonialism. I'm talking about the whiskey sour. I'm talking about the mojito. And I'm talking about the cocktail we're making today, the gimlet. Why, do you ask? I've only got one word, scurvy. Blech. If I haven't explained it before, scurvy is a vitamin deficiency disease, specifically vitamin C and sailors who were traveling overseas for months at a time with low rations, bad water, and no vitamin C were subject to this condition, which was characterized by swollen gums, opened wounds, and rotting teeth. Throughout the next couple hundred years, as Europeans migrated to the Western Hemisphere, they realized that if they added lime and lemon juice to their diet, they'd cure the condition. That's when in 1867, a Scottish entrepreneur by the name of Lachlan Rose made the world's first ever fruit concentrate. It was called Rose's Lime Cordial. And lucky for him, a year later, they enacted a law that required every vessel to carry lime juice and serve it as a daily ration to their crew. <laughs> what a lucky guy. So how did the Gimlet get its name? Rear Admiral Sir Thomas Desmond Gimlet acted as a doctor on his ship, administering gin and lime juice to his sailors as an anti-scurvy medication. Apparently, the gin was used to cover up the taste of lime juice. Sure. Another etymological story is that the gimlet was named after a hand tool that was used to bore holes into barrels of spirits on Navy ships called the gimlet. You see, the gimlet was a well-kept secret. The British Navy officers were the ones drinking gin, while traditional sailors were forced to drink rum rations. Then in 1953, an author by the name of Raymond Chandler discovered the gimlet on an ocean liner and worked it into one of his greatest books, The Long Goodbye. All this gimlet talk has made me thirsty. Grab your tins. Let's save the ice for last. Let's start out with a half ounce of simple syrup, a full ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, and then two ounces of London dry gin. Now we can add ice to our tins. It's pretty standard to use fresh ingredients nowadays. You may have some people protest that a true gimlet is only gin and lime juice, but we're not that pretentious. Grab your coupe glass. Double strain this cocktail right into our coupe glass. Last, add a lemon wheel as a garnish. You can put it on the side or drop it straight in. All up to you. And that's the gimlet. The gimlet is a great way to approach gin. It's well balanced with lime and the juniper berries crashing together to make for an extraordinary taste. Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Bo Robinson and cheers. Do me a favor, please drink responsibly and subscribe. Thanks.